No, whoa. Hey. I uh, didn't see you there. I'm happy to finally share with you all this small documentary I've been making for 25 years now. It's not done, and I can't tell you when it will be done, but so far, this is my life as a pigeon. Came up with that name all by myself. All of these stories are 100% factual, but may be exaggerated for the sake of storytelling. Except that one. That one's 100% factual. America, I've given you all, and now I'm nothing. America, $2.27, January 17, 1956. I can't stand my own mind. America, when will we end the human war? Go fuck yourself with your ass, Mom. I don't feel good. Don't bother me. I won't write my poem until I'm in my right mind. I was fortunate enough to have such a great caretaker growing up. I was allowed outside by myself all day. Some would call this child neglect. I called it freedom. What a cute kid. Whee! And I am going to take a nap. I felt it was perfectly safe. To a four-year-old kid, this was an absolute dream. There wasn't even a single cloud in the sky. Until there was. <laughs> my mother had locked the door. I sat outside for a few hours till my sister came home. At this point, I probably should have realized that my life was never gonna be normal. But unfortunately for me, my mother was really good at gaslighting. She got married, they bought a house. Hell, we even got a dog. I was set up for a pretty normal suburbia life as Jonathan Belletti. America, when will you be angelic? When will you take off your clothes? When will you look at yourself through the grave? When will you be worthy of your million Trotskyites? America, why are your libraries full of tears? America, when would you send your eggs to India? I'm sick of your insane demands. When can I go into the supermarket and buy what I need with my good looks? I was set up for a pretty normal suburbia life. Yeah, that didn't last very long. See, my mom had the kind of mental breakdown that would make any psychologist consider retirement. What this meant for me was that I'd spend some of the most crucial development years surrounded by the hells of an American divorce, little to none parental vision, and all these social workers asking me questions. So the doctor says your mom is suffering from depression, separation, anxiety disorder, specific phobia, social anxiety disorder, panic disorder, agoraphobia, generalized anxiety disorder, selective mutism, dissociative identity disorder, dissociative amnesia, depersonalization, neuralization disorder, dissociative for you, dissociative neurological symptom disorder, other specified dissociative disorder, unspecified dissociative disorder, cancer syndrome, disruptive mood dysregulation disorder, major depressive disorder, dyspnea for menstrual affective disorder and typical depression bipolar eye disorder bipolar eye disorder bipolar disorder not otherwise specified cyclothymia does that all about sound right to you uh sure sorry those are the unwanted kids well we think she's a perfectly capable average mother case closed like any other kid hitting puberty living in a broken home all this chaos was starting to reflect on my personality and i started listening to heavy music that's so sick. However, I still looks like Jim Shady. And let myself get picked on by kids who look like this. Yeah! From all accounts, I was a loser. Jonathan Belletti had no personality, no taste. Hell, all my clothes were picked up by my mother, and it showed. One day, though, things started to change.
Welcome to your first day of class. Please state your first and last name. Uh, Jonathan Belletti. Did you just say Falco? Uh, no. But we are totally calling you that now. Yeah, that's Shane. Considering he essentially gave me half my name, he's basically my father. Which is weird when you consider how many times we've swat spit, but hey, that's besides the point. Falco was born. Hello? Hey, wanna play football? Uh, sure, I guess. Welcome to the neighborhood, motherfucker. Yeah, that's Chris. If you've ever seen me on a dating app, you can blame him. Dude, you gotta check out this site. It's got girls on it. She seems cool. Do you think she's into dudes with daddy issues? Nah, no, she's definitely more of a mommy issues girl. Oh, don't worry. We'll get there. America, after all, it is you and I who are perfect, not the next world. Your machinery is too much for me. You made me want to be a saint. There must be some other way to settle this argument. Burroughs is in Tangier. I don't think you'll come back. It's sinister. Are you being sinister, or is this some form of practical joke? I'm trying to come to the point. I refuse to give up my obsession. Whoever said high school was the greatest time of our lives was a fucking liar. Granted, what else could I have expected looking like this? At least we made some friends along the way. Hey, so what's going on with you and my girlfriend? Oh, that's nothing. I was using her so you would talk to me so I could ask you to be my valentine. Oh, that is a weird way to go about it. But sure, want to go see a movie about brick people? Everything is awesome. Hey, wanna see me snort this Pop-Tart like it's a line of coke on a gas station toilet? A uh, no? Oh my god. Doom in, doom out. Doom in, doom out. Hey man, so, uh, who the hell is that guy? That's the one and only Crab King. But I'd be careful looking at him too long. He doesn't really like that. He gets all scary. I do not wish to be perceived. Of course, like every other angsty teenager who was mad at their parents, I wanted to play in a metalcore band. Did we record a single song? Absolutely not. But we made sure to take edgy pictures outside a cemetery. All that time wasn't a complete waste, though. There was- Oh, Jesus Christ, what the hell is this? Sneak, sneak, sneak. I know I've been exaggerating, but this isn't even close to how we met. Big sneak. Yep, and alright, here we go. She's gonna pretend that she's the stealthiest person on the planet, and I have no idea she's there, and then she's gonna come up and attack me. Sneak, sneak. Beep, beep, yep, beep. and there it is. Beep, beep, oh, for fuck's sake. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Of course, my home life was still a living nightmare. At least this time we made it into a sitcom. You got oh jeez, I wonder what my girlfriend sent me for my birthday. Oh, it's just a suicide note. You want some Fruit Loops? No, Nana, I'm going through it right now. Okay, let me know. Can't get any privacy in here. I want to go to the store. Mom, my girlfriend just killed herself. I'm not in the mood. So she's not coming over later. N no, what? I don't even know if she's alive right now. I'll get over it. <sighs> God damn it. Your mother is such a bitch. Okay. Just thought it let you know. I just want five minutes. Since your girlfriend is a vegetable, does that mean I don't have to cook later? What the fuck, Mom? This, of course, set up our villain arc for the season where I became a horrible person. I joined a group called the Meme Squad, and we were awful, as toxic as they come. 
an entire YouTube channel that got deplatformed due to its extreme edgy 16 year old humor. You're just a very good traveler. Full albums that consisted of telling kids to kill themselves. Didn't matter who you were, we were gonna bully the fuck out of you. Granted, someone had to tell them their eyebrows weren't on fleek. The show's finale was when shit finally hit the fan, and I mean literally. Mom, open the fucking door. Mom, open the fucking door. Mom, open the fucking door. Please, open the fucking door. Please, open the fucking door. What the fuck? What are you doing in there? Open the fucking... I was scheduled for a colonoscopy the next day, so I had these bad Larrys running through my system. I am dying my hair. Can you wait? You're doing what? <laughs> yeah, at this point, it was decided that I was going to move out. At least the network gave me a new television show. Too bad the season premiere wasn't received that well. Oh, better go get that. Wow, okay, that was a bit harsh. Feel like we could have led a bit easier with that. Uh, sorry, my bad, kid. Hey, you bat! What's up, dude? Wait, are you girls all crying? By the way, we called all your immediate family members. You did what? <laughs> Family reunions can be so awkward, especially when they start off with your uncle pouring cement in your gas tank. But some good can come out of these things, like reconnecting with your father. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, you posted this on Facebook. Oh, what? When I was 15 years old? And you know what? It's still true to this goddamn day. You know what? It, it really hurt my feelings. Oh, boo hoo. The alcoholic had his fucking feelings hurt. Uh, you need to learn to show respect. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I never had a father to teach me that. Oh, by the way, I'm not your father. Your, your uncle is your, your father. Your mom never. Your, your uncle is your, your, your father. What the fuck are you talking about? Why do you think I've never been a responsible father? I'm not sure. Why haven't you ever been a responsible drinker? Uh, what do you mean? You know what? Fuck this. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> of course, this only happened because of my saint of an aunt. Bless that woman. She always had a way with words. You are a bastard child. God shall never shine his light upon you. Your mother is in purgatory, and when you do, you will perish in the depths of hell for your sins. Your new adopted family are a bunch of pot smokers and devil worshippers. How could they betray the Lord like this? God is good. God is great, and he has blessed me through my whole life. You have done nothing but reject God your entire life. With your black clothes and demon music, let me get you blessed by the Lord so you can return to his good grace and live a better life. After all that was dealt with, it was finally time for me to cope with the death of my mother, which I handled flawlessly. <laughs> what I came to realize is that my mother wasn't necessarily the best person in the world. She definitely wasn't a very good mother, but she was a really good best friend. trouble.
So after all that, what happened next? Well, I spent a few years as a ghost and I wasn't sure what I was looking for. I worked quite a few odd jobs. Hi, is this the Old Bones home? I'm here to drop off your midnight prescriptions. She'll just leave them on the desk. Yeah! That Jesus fuck. She thinks you're some coming to visit. Sam! He got killed by a drunk driver three years ago. Oh. I tried streaming and making videos under a different name. Had a few good videos, but it just wasn't me. So what did I do? I changed my name legally, dumped all attachments to my dead name, and like a B-rate superhero, I drew up my own logo. You can even tell I drew it. There's a dent in its head. Good luck on seeing that. I'm not this big streamer, but I think I've made some everlasting moments. So I checked Liar. Falco. Liar. I tested him. Liar. He didn't say anything. So Liar. I checked him. Liar. I, Liar. I went to go to the dogs because he said Liar. he was amnesia when I whispered Liar. him. Liar. And he became Godfather. Liar. You idiot! No! Liar. Did you kill me for this? That was dumb as fuck. I was plaster night one and I end so hard. We're so coming to touch you. you. <laughs> Holy shit! Of all <laughs> and she like wanted me to have like an orgy with them. I don't know where we're. Oh, thing. what the fuck! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I wish you guys could see for what. What the fuck? Dude, I wish you guys could see. <laughs> Yo, you look at his tism thing. It's about me. What? It's tism thing. <laughs> You've never heard that from me? Oh, it's tism fingers. Why? What do you mean? Like, He's like, hey, Kylo, look at my tism fingers. They're all bony. I don't think he said that. Tism fingers. Hold on. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah, Kylo. Ah, Ryan tism is... fingers. What? Ryan, Kylo? Oh, yeah, he totally said it. He did not say he, tism he fingers. He totally said tism fingers. Ah, yeah, tism fingers. Death. Yeah, dark you... side. I don't think tism. he said anything about Wow, what am I looking wow. at right now? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Bullshit. Oh no. Oh, that's it. Oh, you're dead. Oh, nice car. Yo, kid. <laughs> Epic music. Epic Playing for him. Guess what? Oh my god, guess what? What the f- I didn't do anything! I didn't do anything! Falco? Falco? <laughs> Falco questioning what? his existence. <laughs> oh god, I'm glad we all knew what was going on. <laughs> god, I look just like you. It's okay. I'm a skinny pirate with big bro. titties and a beard. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. No, Achilles. <laughs> I'm sorry to this island. I'm, I'm never going. coming back. And even met some new friends. We're getting our fucking asses handed to us. I thought you said you had some friends playing the game. They told me they would be here by now. Well, I'll let us you're lucky I don't fuck you right here. Well, it's not my fault, Vice. It's thicker than a boulevard meal. Thanks for the help back there, guys. We really needed you. You guys want to hang out for a little bit? Sure, why not? We have nothing better to do. Great. Just the three of us. I feel like at this point, you're all caught up. So after all this, I guess what I'm trying to say is... I spent this winter writing about getting better, and if I'm being honest, I'm getting there. I came out